Dr. Cranky's back again. Today we're going to look at the chain of the bike. And apart from the tyres, which need pumping up maybe once a month or even once a week or checking once a week, chains are the next most common item or next item you need to most check most frequently on your bike. Um, because they'll get dry and they'll start to um, make that squeaky noise, you'll often hear people riding down the road with a squeaky chain. They just need to oil the chain and maintain the chain. The other thing that can go wrong is they just get gunk on them. People have over-oiled them, they get gunk and they run really rough. So if you clean and maintain your chain fairly regularly, it'll make the, the bike or the drivetrain last a lot longer. So let's have a look at the chain of the bike. So it's made up of a series of links and you want it to be um, you want it to be not dry but not overly wet when you apply the lube. So the most common thing you have to do is just regularly lube the chain. Um, you can buy specialist lubes and they cost a lot of money and they'll last a little bit longer. But I find that the, um, the best lube is just the, the normal sewing machine oil, the light oil you can get from um, the supermarket. It costs about $2 for a little bottle. Or we can spend ten dollars for the same sort of thing that lasts a bit longer from a bike store. So you want to do this when you see the chain getting dry every month or so. And the the most effective way to do it is to do it link by link. So as you come in, you want to just put a drop working on the inside on each link, just a drop of oil on each link, and rotate it round a bit until you get to the next lot of links. I'll pull this in and show you what we're talking about. So here we are, we're just touching each of the inside of the links with a drop of oil. So one, just one drop of oil, we don't want to overdo it. We'll go back and do the rest. Yep, there it is. Do that all the way around until it's fully lubed and then you want to remove the excess oil um, the best thing to do is get an old sock you know those old socks you can't find a pair of um, get an old one put your hand in it and then on the bottom bottom half of the chain just hold it and run it through remove the excess oil and then you're off and running if it's too gunked up then you want to clean it there's special cleaning machines but um, a better way to do it is maybe add that oil on first and then because it'll it'll dissolve a lot of the oil and gunk and then Use this sock and you can just grab it and you can get all sides of the All sides of the, the chain even that one here. It's a bit a bit dirty, but that's that was in pretty good condition So just do that fairly regularly once a month or so you just need a little bit of oil you wipe it off Lube it up now. There's something wrong with this one you can hear it's got a stiff link on the chain. So before I touch the chain, put some gloves on, just um, washing up gloves will do, but your hands are gonna get dirty. Save you cleaning them off later on. So sometimes you'll get a stiff chain, especially if you've changed the chain, it's a bit of a complex thing here. I don't know if you can hear that, there's one little Click, yeah, and we'll find it as it goes through. Click, there it is. So it's a stiff, a stiff link in here somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, there it is there. So one way to, well, the way to fix that is to bend it back and forward. Let's find, oh, there it is. Find this stiff link. There it is there. And then that, Get your hands either side of that's the stiff link there and bend it back and forward And free it so bend it this way So your chain usually moves this way bend it this way to get that stiff link and That'll free it up you can see on this one Someone's pushed the pin a bit further through so that one will might need us to push that pin through but usually if it looks like this There's nothing else there. You can bend it back and forward to free up that that link um, but that one needs a bit more work, but yeah, bending it back and forth will usually free up the link.
regularly lube your chain and look after your chain. Clean and lube it once a month is probably a, a good thing to do. Just sit in your calendar, pump up the tires once a week, clean and lube your chain once a month, and it'll be much more enjoyable riding. Happy riding. The other place chains and drive trunks get gunked up is down in these little pulley wheels here. And you'll find that gunk gets around the pulley wheels. So the way I get that off is use a flat head screwdriver, put up against there, and as I'm pedaling backwards, just rotate it around, you can see that gunk falling off here and then on the inside. This one's pretty clean. Oh, there's another bit of gunk. So you just have to scrape it off. And on the inside. And on this one here too. As it goes backwards, scrape it off. It's quite satisfying actually. Cleaning that up means that's not running through and dirtying up the whole chain and drive train as you go. So you clean up those jockey wheels on the derailleur top and bottom. That's an easy way to get rid of a bit of junk off your chain. Here we've got a, a chain tool. Let's find that stiff link. There it is, a stiff link. So we're gonna have to come in from this side, push that link through. smooth and once we get that we can bend it back and forward so it's ah, there we go that's better run it through and it's gone uh, chain tool you can also use this to push the link all the way through if we wanted to change the link you can push it and this one has a stop until you keep on pushing all the way through until you feel it gets stiff on the other end you just stop there and that will let you we'll pull this back see that little pin is still in there and we want to reattach that we can Push it back in, it'll click in. Come in from the other side. Push the pin back without having to buy a spare pin. And the trick is to feel for that sec. It'll get easy as it pushes through, the hard as it pushes through the second plate. And how does it so I can feel it's getting hard as it gets to the second plate? And that should be there. All the way through. Check it. Done.